This comes from Pascal in Huntsville, Alabama. Purely on the basis of the inappropriate family content ESPN uh, broadcast on draft day with regard to the scripted kiss. I don't think it was scripted between Sam and his partner. Please tell me you're going to slam your network for airing that moment. It was disturbing and hard to explain to my kid. I'm PO'd. I am mad. Similarly, when I had to explain that Janet Jackson Hooter moment to my 10-year-old daughter. Um, By the way, you should be thankful because you were in the room. You know, it's amazing how many parents give me this, what am I supposed to say to my kids? I don't know. You're a parent. Don't have them if you can't figure it out. There's going to be millions of moments, maybe just thousands in your kid's life when you're not there and they hear a word or see an action on a playground or at school or at work and you're not there to provide context. You should thank us and thank anybody who gives you an opportunity, be it CBS with Janet Jackson or the NFL Network and ESPN, when you can be in the room and it's a teaching moment. In my house, we teach tolerance. You teach what you want to teach in yours. In my house, we teach love is love. We teach tolerance, but you don't have to. But I hear this all the time. What am I supposed to tell my kids? I don't know. Don't have them if you have to write emails and ask people the question. It's a teaching moment. And you are lucky as a parent to have those opportunities provided to you. Would it be better if you never had an uncomfortable conversation with your kid? Would that be rewarding? Or sometimes they ask about pot and gay and all sorts of things you don't have a perfect answer for. Premarital sex. And you've got to have like real dialogue with a person that you are responsible for. That's awesome.